Hi guys, Farabikes here, coming to you with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys another mock. This time it is a micro scale mock of Minis Tirith from the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Um, now this um, is of course, like I said, a micro scale mock. And it's actually quite heavy, surprisingly. Um, it has an awful lot of details, as you can see. Um, I tried replicating the scene where, of course, Gandalf rides to uh, Minas Tirith in order to warn Denethor of the upcoming uh, war. Um, as you can see, it also has a mountain behind it. If I didn't include that mountain, it just wouldn't look right. Um, so yeah, it of course took around about 2-3 to three hours to build. Um, I tried including an awful lot of details, almost every single detail I could possibly pack into it. Um, and yeah guys, anyway, so let's get a closer look at this. Anyway, as you can see, here are some of the turrets and buildings that you can see. Um, they are mostly replicated using a couple of 1x1 one one studs um, and gold, as well as a couple of 1x1 one one white bricks. Um, a few clip pieces in all kinds of colours, as well as I'm pretty sure that's a, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of sword. Um, it also has quite a few binocular pieces. Um, I think there's also a car piece. Um, there are also um, a lot of like tree teeth pieces, as you can see here. Um, and then, of course, you um, have a couple of round pieces as well. Um, there's also quite a lot of white and light grey cheese piece, cheese wedge pieces, in order to give it that kind of house kind of look. Um, and they're all separated into at least four or five different towers um, as you can see. Um, those are to replicate the walls. Fortunately they're not entirely round because I didn't have enough round pieces. Um, but yeah, that is it for the main city. Anyway, so here we have the main uh, house itself, where of course the either the king or at this time the steward would be. Um, as you can see, there's a fountain at the top there, as well as the little green patch with a somewhat of a tree there. And then of course you have the main palace towards the back, and um, with a one by two gr gold grill piece there, just to give it some detail, as well as a smaller tower right next to it, um, and that is to replicate the king's palace. Anyway, so a better view here. Um, of course, the rock face just used built using a couple of rock pieces that you quite see commonly in a type of rock build, um, as well as a couple of dark grey uh, one by one cheese wedge pieces as well as a couple of one by two uh, wedge like your kind of wedge bricks um, so yeah, I'm really happy with how the rock face looks and then of course you have the big massive rock in the middle anyway so right here you can see at the front here um, of course you have the terrain and of course the front gates which is replicated using a 2x2 two two, uh, jumper plate as well as a, a binocular piece there and the terrain is also replicated using of course a mixture of colours um, which include dark, tan, tan and uh, brown as well as uh, some green 1x1 one one studs in order to make it have that terrain um, as well as a couple of 1x1 one one tiles. Anyway, so that's going to be it for this mock. Um, sorry if some of the audio is a bit muffled, it's because I recently got braces fitted in. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this mock turned out. And as you saw in this video, of course, I get a new turntable, which I will be using more frequently throughout my mocks. Because um, I think it really adds to, you know, a unique factor to of course my videos and I'm really happy with it um, so you guys if you do like the co like the content you see here please comment like and subscribe and yep that's me 
Um, and yeah, guys, that's it for it for me. I am Infernal Bricks, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace out.